Our next step in our module fabrication is to countersink the pilot holes that we drilled previously by one-eighth of an inch using a Forstner bit. A Forstner bit is simply a, a drill bit that drills a, a flat surface rather than a beveled surface that we see on a regular drill bit. And we're going to be doing this so that we in, when we install the T-nuts that they will be flush and flat to the surface of the wood. We're going to be using 5 16 inch T-nuts, that is the thread on the inside of the barrel will accept a 5 16 inch bolt. The washer part of the T-nut is what we're going to countersink. It's about uh, an eighth of an inch thick and we have four spurs uh, on the underside of the washer that is going to be driven into the wood to hold the T-nut securely into into place. The barrel of the T-nut is a little bit more than a half an inch uh, long so that will provide us with enough thread when we uh, install the bolts into our various pieces. So let's get started here. Uh, just to make sure that we're doing things on the right side, not on the wrong side, we're going to be countersinking on the inside, so to make sure that what we've uh, got on the on the right side is uh, going to be drilled, we have uh, circled the pilot holes where we're going to be drilling ra on the inside rather than on the outside. And there's the uh, Forstner bit spins allows us to get centered. Whenever we're using a Forstner bit on pine, we just lower it in very slowly. Not a lot of pressure because you see it grabs and then sinks in. Make sure that we're countersunk. We're just going to take one of the T nuts, make sure that it's below the surface of the wood, and we're good on that one. So let's do another one. The Forstner bit has a bit of a spur on the end lines up with the pilot hole. You can see that we're lined up. And uh, makes things relatively easy to center the horse a bit into our pilot hole. on the hole. We'll clean those up in a second. Make sure that we're below the surface. That one's a little high. That one's good. That one's good. And that one's good. So we'll do a little bit more on this one. doesn't make a lot of difference if we go a little deeper. In fact, sometimes going a little deeper is a lot better than not going deep enough.
that initial pressure into the wind that you gotta watch. piece where the pilot hole went right through the middle of the knot. That doesn't present any problems. We just carry on as we normally would, taking our time. Whenever you're using a drill press, you want to focus on what you're doing. It's one thing to drill holes with drill bits that are maybe up to a quarter of an inch or even a half an inch, but once you start getting over half-inch drill bits. It's an entirely different situation. Keep your hands away from the bits. Make sure that the long end, on my left here, that if the bit catches and starts to swing the workpiece, that it swings into into the, the bar. That's a good one. So we finished countersinking the in surface of our end piece by one eighth of an inch. And uh, we've checked and make sure that that countersink is going to make sure that the T-nut, the washer part of the T-nut, is below the surface of the wood. So next step is to drill 3 8 inch holes. The inside diameter of the T-nut, the part that's threaded, is 5 16 The outside diameter of the T-nut is 3 8 of an inch, so what we want to do is drill a hole where, you know, where we've located each one of those T-nuts so that the barrel will go into the wood. So we've installed a 3 8 inch drill bit into our drill press. And let's get started. We've also put a piece of scrap wood on the base so that when the drill bit breaks through that we don't end up shredding the end piece. And this is where those pilot holes are really coming into play. We've been able to center the Forstner bit into the pilot hole and we're now able to center the 3 8 inch bit into the pilot hole. Not quite true on that one. Here we've got four nice holes, one, two, three, four, and our T-nut will now fit into that hole. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be applying some epoxy to round to the T-nut and then putting a bolt through and pulling the bolt tight so that those spurs dig into the wood. And with the epoxy, there's no way that those T-nuts are going to be coming out. On with the next board. Okay, it's about a half hour later, and we've accumulated a few wood chips. This was our original template that we used to drill in the pilot holes. You recall we drew, drilled in uh, 
one eighth inch pilot holes followed by uh, recessing uh, the surface of the wood with a one inch Forstner bit and we followed that up with a three eighths inch drill bit drilling three eighths inch holes through the end pieces. The next step is to start to install the T-nuts and we're going to start off with the carry plates.